Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Great Western Trail using one of the solo variants. Last episode was pretty much bug free from my side. I'm still not 100% sure if I haven't played this situation here a little bit too harsh to be honest. I'm not sure if you can remember but yeah here was a decision if you would have let's say progressed on this track or if you would really stop on the train station claiming that station master tile here. Still not 100% sure from some of the comments I take it maybe a little bit too harsh on myself but yeah I think this is something I will not take back at this point in time and to be honest I think overall it wouldn't change a thing too much to be honest. Okay but I think then we should be pretty much good to go and continue with Briscoe's turn down there. He will move forward one to this tile and then he will take the lowest valued cattle card. Right now that's still a three pointer here. I think in this case I should be able to choose to be honest because in the end he will only go after those victory points. So let's go for this blue cow here because I already have one of those as far as I can remember. And then it's back to us. And one really helpful comment I received was in respect to those buildings. And I think this is really what I should do. I should build more buildings in order to slow down Briscoe as much as I can. Will came back to me and said he's now, let's say, in the final process to tweaking, let's say, the solar rules a little bit more, especially allowing for a better timing so he will slow down Briscoe in the let's say versions at a lower difficulty level. But I think I have to do that now on my own or I have to take the responsibility for slowing him down. So I think I really should build another building now. So I will move on to this space. There I will discard one of my Dutch bells. Therefore I gain two dollars, but I will use those two dollars in order to build another level one building. And I think I want to build this building, whatever, next to this forest here. First of all, this allows me to discard a pair for three bucks, which is good. And I get to get an additional action when I take this one. So I move one space ahead and then I would still be allowed to do the action on that space I'm moving to. On top of this, it will also make this building, the outpost here, more valuable to me because I get two bucks for each of my buildings that is adjacent to a forest. So right now that's now four dollars, which is certainly a good thing. But that's already the end of my turn. Ah, let's see what we got. Ah, here I was really kind of hoping for a jersey, to be honest, because then I would be able to use my next building. But I don't have to. With this, let's say, set of cards, I'm relatively happy, to be honest. So yeah, let's see what Briscoe does. Oh man, this is another mean one. Move forward one, and then yeah, we would place the most valuable building right in front of us. But first of all, let's move Briscoe here. Good thing is we would get two more dollars when he's moving the next time. But then he will build one of his buildings right in front of me. Good thing is it doesn't show a hand, so black or a green hand, so I don't have to pay any money at this point in time. But it still also would slow me down. But it will also slow him down because right now this would also count as a space for him. Okay, but when, yeah. Apparently that's nine more victory points for Briscoe. Okay, back to us and ah, one, two, three. I can only move three spaces now, but I think I will go there and hire an additional worker. Yeah, unfortunately doesn't have. I don't have this card, so I cannot discard it. And I'm really running low on money, to be honest. So yeah, let's see, one, two, and three. And I think I have to follow my plan to go for a cowboy strategy in this case. So I will now pay $7 and will claim this cowboy. Let's place him accordingly. And now I get the reward here immediately. So I'm allowed to take one of those hazard tiles. And I think right now I will go for the highest scoring one that should be this drought here. So this would give me four victory points, which isn't a bad thing. So I'm already coming closer to fulfilling this objective card here. I still need one blue teepee up there, but those eight points from those hazard tiles still do count. That's really important. Then it's Briscoe, he will move forward based on current speed. Right now his speed is increased to a four. So he will move one, two, 
three and four. He passed my building here with a green hand. This gives me two extra dollars. It's definitely helpful. And that's already the end of his action. Huh, okay. I think I could make it to Kansas City right now, but I think I don't want to do that at this point in time. So let me go here. I think I, uh, it doesn't really matter at this point in time. I will go for this auxiliary action here. Action here first. I've unlocked this space, so this would give me two extra dollars, but I will pay those extra dollars in order to use this action down there. So for two dollars, I will be able to move my engine twice. So that's one and two, and then it's Briscoe again. Again, he will move forward based on his current speed, and that's one, two, three, four. Oh man, yeah, he will make it to Kansas City no matter what. One, two, he will take the shortest pass. Three, and also here, that's four. Wow. Again, he will make it to Kansas City before me. So in this case, I think I will go for this drought, as I've just unlocked this space here. Then here, we will take the engineer. Yeah, and here I think we will go, doesn't really matter, I think for another engineer. So the first engineer goes there, and the next one goes here. And with the next hiring action, I could go for a relatively cheap cowboy here, or maybe really for an engineer. This is really something I have to think about when I get there again. But of course, we must not forget to spawn new tiles. That's a green tippy, ah man. I really need blue TPs, uh, but let's see. Another engineer, and what do we have up there? Yet another engineer. He will skip step four, he will go into step five, and there he will place his second black bordered disc. So in this case, he gets three dollars, uh, three victory points. And of course his range will increase by one, but he also just scored an additional six victory points. Wow. Okay, I think I want to take a risk here. First of all, I will go here. I will discard my jersey and this lets me advance my engine one space further. Then I will discard my Dutch belt and therefore I gain an additional three dollars. Not sure if that's really a good idea, but at least I get to reshuffle my deck. So here we see another Black Angus. Oh man, that's not good. That's not good at all. But somehow I have to live with that. We still get to draw another card and that's good. Another or oh, one of our brown misses. So in total we are at eight bucks right now. That's really not bad at all, to be honest, but I think it's not enough. That's really kind of unfortunate, but that's the end of our turn. Let's move Briscoe. Move forward one, that's not a big deal. Take highest value objective card. And right now there is only one with five victory points. All the others are only worth three victory points, but nevertheless, this just scored him an additional <laughs> five victory points. Wow, tough. Let's see what comes out next. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, let's get into Kansas City. Here I will totally go for this green teepee tile because the more teepees I place on the board, the better the conditions will be with the Indians later on. So when I get whatever a tile from here, I would be able to get six bucks for that. So that's definitely not a bad thing. Here I don't really care, so let's go for this craftsman and phew, don't care as well because it will be ten dollars let's go for another engineer so the craftsman goes here the engineer will go there and then we will be able to deliver our cattle that's unfortunately the only unique cattles i have but still that's eight dollars but unfortunately i don't have any certificates whatsoever and i cannot go to santa fe again so in this case i have to go to vichita or to topeka at this point in time and right now i really tend to go to topeka in order to avoid going to vichita because in either cases i will lose some victory points by the end of the game so i think yeah why not let's go there 
and I think I'm already too late optimizing my deck so this is not that interesting normally I would totally go for that one because it allows you to destroy one of your cards you have to move your engine one space back but overall getting rid of cards you know in a deck builder is always a good thing so I think in this case I will focus on my engine movement so I will place this disc right onto Topeka and again keep in mind as long as I keep Wichita free of my blue discs I should be fine and not suffer any penalties up there okay let's draw some more cards that's good Holstein Jersey Dutch belt oh good hand of cards and another Jersey okay doubles at the start of the trail is always a good thing because as you have seen there are ways to get rid of those pairs of cards easily Okie dokie, then it's back to Briscoe. He will move forward one. That's a simple one. So let him move right here. That was okay. And I think I should be able to claim my very first Station Master tile because I can go here. This would let me move my engine based on my on the amount of engineers. Right now I'm at one, but I will totally do that. So let's move down one. I have to pay now four dollars in order to place my disc here but those four dollars are well invested because they give me two extra victory points and now I would be allowed to claim this station master tile and I think I will do that so let's grab one of our cowboys let's place him here and now I get an instant bonus pretty much so I can take any hazard tile or any TP tile and in this case I will totally go for another hazard tile here. I could go for a TP but I still have to pay for the TP and right now the blue TP is still worth three dollars which I would have to pay and I don't want to do that and yeah this tile would give me three victory points in total so I think yeah let's go for it and this station master tile gives me three points for each pair of objective cards whether fulfilled or not in my objective area so this can really help me either reducing the penalties i have to pay when i'm not able to fulfill those objective cards or really gain me some actual victory points so overall i think that was definitely a good turn but I'm not done yet. I just saw that I can still take the double action here. And yeah, I think let's use it properly. So I will now use this action, use this disc to place it onto that station up there. So I pay $2 here in order to move my engine twice. That's really good. So that's one and two. And there is a good chance I get a second station master tile. And yeah, as I mentioned, they can really provide you a lot of benefits. This one here, for example, grants me a permanent certificate when delivering my cattle later on in Kansas City. So that's really particularly helpful one. But now it's back to Briscoe. He will move forward based on current speed. That's a five now. Hopefully I will not mess this up. He will get here. That's one. Therefore, I get two dollars, which is good. Two, three four and five count again one two uh, one two three four and five okay let's move him up there let's claim our two dollars and yeah that was pretty much his turn but he makes it to kansas city in yeah basically one of his next two actions okay again back to us i think i will skip this one it, it would give me four dollars but i think i really need to do meaningful stuff right now four dollars could be fine but in the end they're not really worth that many victory points so that's one two and three unfortunately again i don't have a black angus with me so i think i never had a black angus at the right time but i will still be allowed to do that cattle market action and with three cowboys, remember I lost one because I placed him as a station master, I would be allowed to gain a level four cow for six dollars, one of those West Highlands. They're only worth three victory points, but they still enhance my deck quite significantly, to be honest. So let's pay our six dollars. Let's grab one of those West Highland cows. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of my turn. Okay, it's Briscoe's turn. He will move forward one. It's not a problem and then he will take the highest valued TP which is again a green one and this is really a pity because as far as I can remember I do have an objective card that basically requires 
green tippies and he's continuously stealing them from me. Okay, but overall that wasn't that bad to be honest. And then it's back to us. Ah, this is now really tempting here to be honest because I could move my engine one space ahead and I could go for another objective card. And I think this can be useful. So yeah, why not? Let's go here. Here I will go for an objective card and I think I will take this one here. This may or may not help me later on. But what's more important, I will go for this action here. And this lets me move my engine one space ahead. So we are one space short in order to claim another Station Master tile. Let's see what Brisco does. Move forward one. So he will go here and then he will take the highest value hazard tile. I think right now these are only three pointers. Yep. So let's grab this one here for example. But still, in the end, that scores him an additional three points. I think I will not buy or build this round. So I think let's go here. One, two, because there's a way to get rid of two of my jerseys. So let's get rid of those. And yeah, therefore I get three bucks. Then I will be able to move again and use the space. Unfortunately, this is now say a foreign building so I will only be allowed to use an auxiliary action but I can only use basically the effect of one of the auxiliary so I cannot go for a double action here but I think that's still good enough so I think I will pay an additional dollar here this lets me move my engine down there I will pay an additional one two and oops three dollars and yeah, I will place one of my discs. And I think in this case, I will go for the certificate disc here. So this scored me an additional two points. And now I can still claim this Station Master tile and I will totally go for it. Fortunately, I'm now getting rid of my Cowboys, but still it might be worth it. And yeah, this, as I mentioned, gives me a per permanent certificate and then three victory points for each two certificates I have at the end of the game. So this can really help me optimizing my victory points, at least to some extent. Okay, let's draw two more cards. Ah, another jersey. And now we get the Black Angus. Ah, that's not great at all. That's five. That's again only eight dollars. Ah, wow. That's really a pity. But no matter what, he will now move into Kansas City, that's sure. So he will move there one. He will take the least expensive worker. In this case, that's this guy here, who we place onto his player board. Then we will, let's say, place those tokens. Again, I will go for this green teepee. That's for sure here. I will go for one of those engineers. This will move down the market. And here I will go for the blue TP. So overall, we have now three TPs available and one of those are green. And I definitely want green and blue TPs for my objective cards. That much is clear. I will repopulate the place up there in Kansas City off camera again. But of course, we must not forget to repopulate the market. So we get four more cards. One, two, three, and four, oh, that's kind of okay, I guess. Definitely something we can use later on. Again, he will skip this base. He will take one of his discs. This will be a white disc, but again, it doesn't really matter. He will deliver right to San Diego. And again, he will score eight more victory points for that. Wow. Okay, back to us. I think I will not make it to Kansas City. I could, so I could go one, two and three, but I think I still want to get rid of my jersey. I need one more, one more valuable card, to be honest. So one, two and three. So let's discard this jersey there. This lets me move one more space. But I think I will not discard my Dutch belt at this point in time, because really 
all I need is another unique value to count, to be honest. So let's draw up. So let's see what we get. And Guernsey, awesome. That's now six plus, it's nine. And keep in mind, I have this permanent certificate. So I will be able to deliver 10 points worth of cattle to Kansas City. Awesome. But still, let's continue. He will move forward one. He will take the least expensive worker. And again, he will go for one of those craftsmen. And then it's back to us. We will move right into Kansas City. We will take one of those teepee. That much is clear. And if I trade with the Indians later on, I could go for this teepee here and then I would gain $1 instead of paying stuff. For it's definitely an improvement. Here I think I will go for an engineer. Yeah, and here I don't have a choice. I will go for one of those cowboys. So the engineer will go there, the cowboy will go there, and we are really slowly but steadily coming to the end of the game. So if this thing moves twice, then this will basically trigger the end of the game. Okay, let's sell our stuff. Here we have four, six, and nine. We have our permanent certificate. So overall that's 10 bucks, which is really great to be honest. And this allows me to deliver up to Albuquerque and I will totally do that. So I can take one of my black border discs here. So I will pay $5 for that, but this will increase my hand size by one, which is really huge. So let's place our disc here. This gives me an additional objective card. And I think I will go for this one here. And then last but not least, let's draw our hand off five cards now this is really really huge another dutch belt another guernsey and another jersey okay that was pretty much the end of our round and i think i will call it a day for today next episode will most likely be my last episode so i really hope you're looking forward to it i really enjoy this game and especially this solo variant that much i cannot wait to try out the easier mode even though i think there is a chance to beat him i think i was some kind of unlucky in some ways to be honest the way how he drew his cards and maybe i was a bit stupid in the way how i placed my buildings but i think he should be beatable to be honest he's tough that's for sure and i think he will beat me with a big um, difference in score but i think overall yeah it's really doable and again I enjoyed really, really a big, big deal. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And yeah, until then, bye-bye.